Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to Pulsish de Luna Beja with my family and I thought I would bring you guys with me. This is my first time going so I didn't know what to expect but before I wanted to show you the beautiful scenery that we have on our way to Furnish. So on the way to Firdenish, you're going to see that the street is always curved. Yes, we have so many curves on the way to Firdenish. And if you're motion sick, you might get a little motion sick until there. If you don't know Firdenish, it's a parish on San Miguel Island. And it's mostly known for its hot springs, for the traditional seeds of Firdenish. And of course, their bulchlich. If you've ever been to Firdenish, you can tell that the town is literally built on a dormant volcano crater. I know that sounds scary, but that is why they have so many hot springs. It's completely safe though. It's It last erupted in the year 1630 and there are no signs of it erupting anytime soon. All throughout Fyrnes you will see steaming, fumaroles, thermal pools and natural mineral springs. The Kuzidu that I mentioned earlier is actually cooked underground because it's so so hot. Another thing to do in Firnish is go and see the lake. We're actually passing right by the lake here in this video but I'm not showing it to you right now. Well, I do a little. Um, I'll show it to you better at the end of the video. This lake is actually the first thing that you see when you're arriving at Firnish if you're going through the south part of the island from Villa Franca Duca. It is one of the biggest tourist points on the island and let me tell you, it's very, very beautiful. There are many times where I say, I think I need to paint this one day, but I never end up doing it. Anyways, I don't think I could capture the beauty, the beauty of it. It's just so beautiful. You could take a picture of it, but if you see it in person, it's a thousand times more beautiful. We are finally arriving at the parish of Furnish. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's a beautiful one, so it's worth it. Once you arrive at Furnish and before getting to Pusaj de Duna Beja, you will pass through Tara Nostra. Well, not through, but you'll pass in front of the entrance. And that's another hot spring place. It's also very beautiful. It's like a central park. I guess you could say we compare it many times to um, like that's the Central Park of San Miguel you know Central Park from New York it's much much smaller but it's very beautiful one day I'll show you Terra Nostra but today Pulsa de Duna Beja is going to be the center of attention now we are arriving the entrance I am walking up because the they do have a parking lot but it was full this usually uh, fills up. It says it opens at 8.30, but I think it actually opens at 10. And if you want a spot in that parking lot, you have to go really early. Just saying. Um, so yeah, this is the entrance. I feel like it has a very beautiful theme. There's wood everywhere. It's very relaxing. This place has four hot spring pools which are at 39 degrees the water is so warm it's not warm it's hot but it feels so good so when you walk in the first thing you see is a souvenir shop and then to the other side is beautiful scenery there's beautiful scenery everywhere around inside so this was an amazing experience for me and i bet you'll like it too there on that side you'll see some plants in the distance over there I think I'm going to show it to you a couple of times. And those plants are a vignamsh. That is, in English, I think that is called yam. You will see this plant all over Furnish. We do have this plant um, in many parts of San Miguel, but here in Furnish you see it a lot. See, that these are the plants that I'm talking about right now that I'm showing. When you buy your ticket to get in, you have an hour and a half to swim in the hot springs. But trust me, that's going to be enough time because the water is so hot that your body will end up not wanting anymore after a while. 
especially in the summer but today was the kind of a it wasn't too cold but it also wasn't too hot so this was really really relaxing and this I think the one that I'm showing right now was my favorite hot spring you can see me walking in I just love this one so much because of the waterfall and I didn't bring my GoPro but if I had I would have filmed inside the waterfall because you can put your head inside of it you'll see me doing it right now you can sit inside of it actually it's fun to sit inside of it but after like 10 seconds you will start feeling like you're getting suffocated because of the heavy iron that is on the inside flowing in the air you can see all this brown orangey color on the stones and that is from the iron um, that is being produced by the temperature of the hot springs. There is this whole scientific explanation on that color and you can actually pick it up with your hands and put it on your face and people say that it's a good face treatment. But be careful not to rub it in too much or else you'll get an orange face after. The water that I'm showing you running down the river is not hot. That water is actually 10 degrees colder. I still can't believe how beautiful the scenery is. Sometimes we forget that we live in such a beautiful world. So the next clip that I'm about to show you, this one right now, this is the original hot spring that people would use to sit in. But now it's not safe, so they close it off and put some rocks in it so people can't swim in there. But it's cool to look at because it's like a cave, as you can see. This pool that I'm walking to right now is part of the river, so it's 10 degrees cooler than the hot springs. And this is where people usually go to cool off, or people who do not like hot water can just sit in here. But as you can see, it's not as crowded as, as the other pools were. Um, for me, this was way too cold, but this is probably more popular in the summer. Overall, my experience here at Pusa de Duna Beja was very, very positive. I really enjoyed it. It was very relaxing. I think I would like it more if it wasn't so crowded, but that's hard to find a day where it's not crowded because everyone wants to try it. And even though there are a lot of people, it is worth it. So before we left, I just wanted to show you the souvenir shop a little bit more. I didn't go inside, but this is just a little overview from the outside of what you can get. And now we're off to lunch. So I'm just showing you a little bit more of what Fyrnish looks like driving through the streets. And we are going to have lunch at a little snack bar called Stonish. I was so grateful that it was just such a beautiful sunny day. It just really brightened up our mood. It also makes the trip a lot more fun. Furnes is typically a little bit more colder than the rest of the island, at least in the winter. Um, but since it was a sunny day, it wasn't that bad today. I was wearing a t-shirt and flip-flops, so it felt like summer. And I know when I say it's cold here, it's not as cold as it is in some parts of the world. It's still snowing in Canada and in some places of the US. So I can't complain, but it never snows here in San Miguel. So 8 degrees Celsius is very cold for us. I don't think it's ever been below 6 degrees Celsius. At least I haven't caught a day where it's been below 6 degrees Celsius and it's very rare for us to get that low in temperature only in the winter and maybe one or two days and that's if it ever gets to 6 degrees I think the lowest that I felt here on the island was 8 degrees Celsius at night so here's lunch we had garlic bread with cheese and ham on it and onion rings and some french fries and on the same street of this bar, there is this upside down house that is pretty known in Firnish. Uh, it's a big tourist attraction, lots of people go here to take pictures of holding it. But this upside down house is actually used for Edda, 
which is an electricity company here in the Azores. Um, yeah, so there's not much more use for it. It's just there. It's just another fun spot where people can go and take pictures. You'll see in a few seconds, I told my boyfriend to go and hold the house just for the video. It makes it look like the house is falling and that if he doesn't hold it, it will fall on top of him. So on the same street, if you keep walking down, there is also a little store where you can buy homemade bulchulich. If you don't know what bulchulich are, I showed them in my last video. I'll link that in the description so you can watch my last video. And it's just this sweetbread that is original from Furnish. And every time I come to Furnish, I buy a few. You can get this at any store on the island. It's sold everywhere, but it's best to eat it when it's fresh. So I love to get it where it's made in Furnish. And here is the lake that I promised to show you at the end of the video. This is Furnish Lake. It's a really, really big lake. It's also very beautiful. I think it's the most beautiful um, when the sun is setting. It has beautiful colors. It's just breathtaking. If you ever come to San Miguel, don't forget to visit this lake. So the video is coming to an end. I want to thank you so much for spending the day with me. I hope you like this type of video. If you do, hit that thumbs up button and tell me what you would like to see more from me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And once again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!